Well, I can tell you that the families involved with this case are absolutely devastated today. Now, I spoke with the father's side of the family who is actually in the process of fighting for custody for the one year old girl before this all happened. Now they say they believe this could have been prevented. She was an angel. That's my angel. Dion Owens identified one year old Amanda Marie Owens as his daughter. West Sacramento police say she was found dead from what they're calling traumatic injuries at Sylvie's Motel around noon on Monday. Well, I was hoping that she, my daughter would be OK and I could come and take her like I want to, like I was trying to do but I found out that she was dead. Owen said he had been going through a custody battle with Amanda's mother when this all happened. I'm just angry. There's no other word. I can't feel nothing else but anger. I'm not sad. I'm mad. Amanda's aunt, Edith Isom, believes this could have all been prevented. But still at the same time, you don't keep your baby from getting no real love, you know? And she would have been safe with us if she would have. That would have never happened, ever. Neighbors at the motel tell us they believe the mother of the one-year-old had been staying there for a few weeks now with her other three-year-old son. Two days ago, she was jumping around and running from her brother, and, you know, today it's sad. But she says she had never seen the suspect, 43-year-old Derek Woods, around the motel and doesn't have any idea why he was there in the first place. I don't know why he would do that to those kids. There's no woman or no man that important to hurt your kids about, you know? Now, police say there was also a three year old involved with this incident, a stepbrother of the girl who was killed, who is being treated for his injuries over at the UC Davis Medical Center. And we're told that he is expected to be OK. Now, we're also told that the father's side of the family will be holding a vigil here at the motel where this all happened coming up tonight at six o'clock. Back to you, mm -hmm. Lena. Have we heard from the mother at all or what connection there might have been to this suspect? Um, at this point in time, uh, that information is just not clear. We're not really sure what that connection was at this time. And uh, police are also keeping their lips pretty tightly sealed about what had happened here, too. Obviously, very early in the investigation. Of course, stay with us for updates on this developing story. Lena, thank you.